I spend an awful lot of time scraping data from websites. There, I've said it, I'm not happy about it. I wish there were better ways to do it. And often when there's an API or any other way for me to engage in a website, I'm gonna use that instead. But sometimes it's not avoidable and sometimes it's not worth the time. This is where something like Bardeen, the tool I'm gonna to be talking about today, is extremely useful. Bardeen is a free Chrome extension that packs a lot of power. It lets you automate repetitive manual tasks and is especially useful for copying and pasting or setting up triggered workflows. Obviously, this video isn't sponsored, but I have left a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Now, I've been using this recently with some of our partner platforms to scrape data from their e-commerce platforms so that we can create orders in our system without having to build an integration. I've also used it to pull courier data so that we can keep an update on all of our shipments that are happening at any time. Today, though, I'm going to use this on Rightmove, which is a property search website. I'm keen to get some information out of their standard property page and a tool like Bardi is really really great for this so let's waste no more time and i will jump into the platform and show you how it works okay so here we are on the right move site you'll see there's a nice big old search box here when i went to university i lived in leamington spa so that seems like a great place for us to start so let's just have a really quick look leamington no leamington spa in warwickshire i'm going to look at houses for sale and I'm just going to use whatever standard setting they have. I just want to get a list of links and have a go. So I've done my search now for, for Leamington Spa. I've got 360 results. I don't want all of them. What I want to do is just make sure that we get the scraping set up properly in a way that's the most useful. So the way I'm going to start this is by clicking on one of these links and taking a look at the page. So loads of pictures, which is great. We've got these key features here, which maybe are useful. The property description, I'm not too fussed around but there's definitely some things that I want to make sure that we have for our uh, spreadsheet. But yeah, let's let's have a look and see what data we can pull out. So all you need to do to start up the, the app itself is click here on your extension list and that's gonna come up with this splash screen. For now, all I wanna do is play around with the scraper and then we can worry about linking that to Google Sheets a little bit later. So I'm gonna come in here and click on new scraper template. That's gonna offer either a list table or single page. But for now we're on a single page, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna call this right move single page and start building. So this bit down at the bottom is gonna offer me um, some information from the table. But what we're going to do first off is just have a look around the page and see what we can click on, see what information we can actually put out. So you'll see here it's actually identifying specific HTML elements that we want to look at. All you have to do is click on it and give it to feel the title. I'm going to call this address. I'm going to add here, which is the list price, property type, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms and the size, the tenure, pretty sure they're all freeholds but I don't really know enough to, to say that for, with any certainty. Harvey from very slightly in the future here, uh, one of the things that we didn't add here which is obviously very useful to add is the URL. You'll see down here add special field URL time etc. Generally it's quite nice to add that so I am going to get a page link, which is the URL, and I am actually going to have a look and see about maybe just also grabbing time scrapes. The only reason I'm going to grab this is just because obviously we're looking at properties and if something's really old, the chances are that it's probably gone. So I'm just going to call that timestamp. Those are now added at the bottom here, and it's just going to give us a little bit more information and make it a little bit easier if we did want to adjust the scraper in the future to go back and add some more information. Okay, so we've got our scraper set up here. You can see it in this drop down for all of our scrapers, but it's not very useful on its own. So we need to combine it with a couple of other features within Bardeen to make it really, really useful and actually do what we need it to do. So without further ado, I'm going to start an auto book. So when you create an auto book, it's gonna ask you first for a trigger. The trigger that we're using is when something happens because we want it to happen as soon as I right click on one of the links. So you'll see some of the options here that you can use, which again, is pretty cool when an email is starred that you can set a specific series of events. That might be something that we would use to any starred emails become projects in Asana. So any anything immediately gets taken into Asana and then we can use that to manage our products. The things I've found it most useful for are right clicks. That's why I'm sticking with that. So you can just search here for right, right even. When I right click on a website, it's going to ask you for a name. So I'm going to call this save listing. 
So when I right click, that's what it's gonna come up with. And it, it asks you where it should be visible on. And you can say it's only visible on specific bits of the site. So if you only wanted the images or only on the page body. On this case, we only actually want it on links because we want to use the link as the page that should be scraped rather than the page that we're already on. So now we've got this first piece of our flow here. What I can then do is click on this plus button and that will allow me to create an action to happen as a result of what we've just done. So I'm gonna click new action here uh, and now we are going to scrape. We're given three options for what we want to scrape here. I'm going to scrape data in the background because we don't actually want to load the page. We just want to run through the list, right click on each one and scrape it directly from that page and then save that to a sheet. So scrape data in the background. It's going to ask us which page should be scraped. Now you'll see here we have trigger action from our previous step. So when I right click on a website, I want to take that URL and scrape that page in particular. Then it's going to ask us which scraper template. And we have the template that we created earlier, right this single page. So I can select that. It asks for the number of list items to be extracted, but actually that doesn't really matter for what we're doing because it's not a table scraping setup. It's actually just a single page. So I'm going to ignore that and I'm going to click that as done. So now that we've got all of the data here, we can click done, save it and test that it's working. So I'm going to call this RM Data Extractor. I'm going to click on save and that's going to bring me back to this main page. I can activate this now, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to right click or left click here even. This has now been scheduled and it will now run automatically on the page. So I can hide Bardeen and we can come back to our property here. And because this is all a link, I can right click anywhere I now have this wonderful piece here that says save listing. If I click on that, that's going to run in the background. I'm not going to see anything happen, but what I can then do is reopen Bardeen and have a look at the activity. Now I can see called with here and the returned data, and I can see all of the data that I wanted. Fantastic news has been pulled out. Really pleased that that's working. We'll get on now to the final part, which is pulling that data from the scraper into our spreadsheet. I'm just bringing back up the Bardeen workflow again. We've got my auto book that we created earlier, which I've just called RM. Now it is running, it's getting the data out and we're quite happy with it, but we want to take it a step further and add it to this right move scraping data spreadsheet. If you've not connected the two platforms together before, you will have to um, agree to a couple of terms just to allow Bardeen to talk with Google Sheets. It's the same with any, any of the other apps. So I've got that set up already. So I'm gonna come into more options and open in Builder again. We've got our lovely two steps here and we're going to add another action at the end here. We've got the two sections here from what we've created already. I'm going to click on the add action once more and open up another action. I've already connected Google Sheets so I can just type in sheet and add rows to Google Sheet. I think that option will still appear but it will just take you through the sign in and set up flow if you've not done it before. So I'm gonna add row to Google Sheet and it's gonna ask me which Google Sheet. I've got my sheet ready to go is right move that's going to bring it up fantastic and then here it's going to ask for how we want the data to come in now it says from table you can add column um, or you can use commands uh, if i come to use commands it's going to give me some options including using the data from action one uh, to add directly to the table so i'm just going to click on that and that's actually all we need to do i'm going to click on done uh, and click on done up here because we now have everything we need to activate this and start collating data. So I can close this auto book now entirely uh, and I can run through here and I can say, oh, this one looks great. I'm just gonna grab this, save listing, and then we can take a look and see if it actually saves it. And there we go. All of that data is now coming in. Um, we have set up the, the columns because it was the first time we've done it. But just to show you how this would work then, now that we've got that data in here, I can come down, I can say this one looks really nice. And I don't like this one, but I like this one. God, I'm not buying any of these houses. These are very expensive houses <laughs> and I have no money. <laughs> so I've right clicked a load of times now uh, and I'm just gonna come back into here. So here are the listings in the sheet as I want it. I have gone back afterwards and added the URL in to the same setup that I had before because I want to be grabbing that as well and keeping that every time that I pull any any information from a link. I think there's some really cool stuff that you can do with this way beyond what I've done today, but I would really recommend giving it a try, especially if you're pulling data or doing market research. It can be really helpful to pull everything into a spreadsheet 
and then allow you to much more quickly analyze a large data set. I hope you found this interesting and I can't wait to see what you decide to do with Bardeen. Do let me know in the comments if you get anything cool working. I'd love to explore some more opportunities to use the software.